Hello, welcome back to another Whip It video. You guys love seeing them, I love making them. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Like, what kind of dogs are these? Whippets? Whippets? This is an especially exciting one because it's the first time my Whippets have been to a beach and I thought it would be fun to share. I packed a whole bunch of food as well as some treats and fruit for the dogs. We drove to the closest beach to us, the Indiana Dunes. It's a huge national park on the shore of Lake Michigan and on a clear day you can actually see the Chicago skyline from across the lake, which is pretty cool. There's three different beaches in the area you can go to, all dog friendly and all leash required, which is great to keep all the dogs safe. Although I kind of wished I'd gotten footage of them like running on the beach, but that's okay. On one of the beaches, there are these gorgeous houses from the 1933 Chicago World Fair. They're supposed to represent what people from the 1930s thought future homes would look like. And there's this beautiful pink house right on the beach. So beautiful. And people actually live there too. Anyways, our dogs are really great on the two hour car ride. I think it especially helped that I took them to the dog park so you know they could get all their energy out beforehand. And the dunes actually had a free dog park about 20 minutes away. It was really handy to go to before the drive back home. It was such a nice day, kind of like a warm hug. But there was also a breeze and there were also lots of people. We brought a beach umbrella to provide the dog shade and extra long leashes that we attached to the umbrella so you know they could kind of wander around a bit and also plenty of water. It's actually a running joke that I forgot to bring water for us, but I brought a gallon for the dogs. We also used a spritz bottle to spray down their body if they start to pant and get too hot, and I think that really helped. All right, time to head to the water. I think they were both really confused by the water initially. Like, why is it moving? And maybe the sound of the waves were kind of loud. Snilly was like, get me out of here. <laughs> but after warming up to it a little bit, they actually really liked the water. Oh, Snoot's swimming. <laughs> Snoot. We spent the rest of our time at the beach just sitting around, playing with the sand, relaxing, people watching, eating all the food we prepared. I should have gotten some shots of them eating watermelon. It was so cute. And then we'd periodically go down to the water to cool off when it started to get too hot. We brought a couple of dog toys too. Of course we had to bring Smelly's frisbee. <laughs> I did let her off the leash a couple of times, maybe like a minute at a time. She did really well and even knew which beach setup was ours. But don't tell anyone that we let her off the leash. I tried to bury Snilly. She actually really liked it because the sand was soft and cold. And don't worry, it was really easy to just dust all the sand off their coats. 
yeah so the dogs had such a great and relaxing time at the beach it was a lot of fun i highly recommend taking your whippets or really any dog to the beach this summer thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye